Welcome everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're at around the world. My name is Ilan Sinelnikov, and I'm the president and founder of the Student Supporting Israel movement. And I am Sophia Witt, the vice president of the Student Supporting Israel movement. It is great to be here with you all at the Student Supporting Israel headquarters. And thank you for joining us for a day-long focused discussion on the important topic of this conference. We are thrilled to host the Define It to Fight It International Summit, which is truly important, especially today. We have groups, students, speakers from all across the globe joining with over 50 partners from 10 countries and four continents in the global fight against anti-Semitism. When SSI first started, we were primarily focused on promoting the pro-Israel cause on college campuses. However, we quickly began to realize how interrelated anti-Israel rhetoric was with the blatant anti-Semitism, and we had to fight back in a unified and organized way in our already powerful platform. The list of all anti-Semitic incidents on college campuses alone under the veil of anti-Zionism is endless, and hence began SSI's fight against the anti-Semitism, in addition to our many other Israel-focused programming. When the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, or IRA, created its working definition of anti-Semitism, we started being adopted by countries, by governments, in addition to international bodies. We recognized its importance and how it could also make a big difference in the fight against anti-Semitism on college campuses, and came up with a campaign, Define It to Fight It. This year has been unlike any other. When we were planning this upcoming semester, we asked ourselves, what can we in SSI do from home that can make a difference for the Jewish and the Zionist communities on campus? As anti-Semitism persisted virtually, we decided to take action. With the limitations of off-campus activism, SSI chose to expand our legislative efforts to encourage students across the globe to adopt the IHRA definition of anti-Semitism into student governments. We believe that the first step in fighting anti-Semitism is defining it. We began working to have the definition adopted as official policy by universities and within student governments themselves, as universities and college campuses have become a hotbed for anti-Semitism, which is overlooked too often. One after another, IRA definition legislations passed, and soon SSI became the leader of the global initiative to pass these legislations with the help of all of the sponsors on this conference today. With the success of so many adoptions, three alone in the past week, we decided to host the first ever Define It to Fight It International Summit, dedicated to the promotion and the passing of the IHRA definition of anti-Semitism on campuses all across the world. This past academic year, and even more so during a global pandemic, we have successfully passed 13 legislations, making a grand total of 24 SSI legislations adopted on campuses worldwide. And so, despite the restrictions and limitations, this year has brought us, this summit represents resilience of the Jewish and the Zionist community. Even through the toughest times, we continue to persist and win against the racist agenda of anti-Semites all over the world. And while many claim that the IRA definition of anti-Semitism is limiting to free speech, is too broad, and somehow oppresses groups like SJP, it actually defines speech, noting that you can still say whatever you want without being held accountable. However, you will be labeled by the anti-Semitic rhetoric of your claims. The IRA definition of anti-Semitism sits on a level that is inclusive to all Jews of all opinions, not just those who support Zionism, but offers broad examples to include all forms of anti-Semitism to ensure all opinions of the Jewish people are accounted for under one umbrella of hatred against the Jewish people. Anti-Semites hate the IRA definition and actively fight against it because it labels them for what they've been trying to conceal for years, anti-Semitism. The Define It to Fight It Summit mission is to raise the pressing issue of anti-Semitism and to call on the global efforts to actively uproot it. By promoting the adoption of the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism, aligned with SSI's mission to be a clear and confident pro-Israel voice on college campuses, today's summit, with the help of our expert speakers, will educate on what the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism is, its creation, its content, and its meaning. We will present the need to officially define anti-Semitism and issue a global call to action to adopt the definition while reviewing and countering the various arguments raised by those opposing the definition. 
Through our diverse group of speakers, we will provide an overview of the global slate of countries, international institutions, and academic institutions who have already adopted the working definition of anti-Semitism, while suggesting specific courses of action to achieve the official adoption of the definition. Thank you for joining us today in an effort of actively joining against the fight towards anti-Semitism together. Well, Sophia, are you ready to start this day with some amazing speakers? So I am have, excited. We have such a lineup. We worked for a long time and let's hear today from the first speaker that will be joining us, a dear friend of Students Supporting Israel, the Honorable Ambassador Gilad Erdan, Israel's Ambassador to the United States and the United Nations. Gilad Erdan is the first ambassador to serve in both roles since Abba Evan in the 1950s. Prior to assuming his dual role, Ambassador Erdan served in the Israeli Knesset for 17 years and held several ministerial positions, including the Minister of Public Security, Minister of Strategic Affairs, and Minister of Environmental Protection. Gilad Erdan is a member of Israel's security cabinet and led many important reforms in the Israeli society. With that, we would like to introduce our dear friend, the Honorable Ambassador Erdan. Thank you for joining us today. 